the Premiership winning coach, Shane Flanagan, take us inside the mind of Nathan Brown. Will he pop that ruling there? Was there enough contact from Curran? It's all right. Release up! Aaron, Aaron, keep coming, mate. Go to. Who whips the ball across to Talakai. There's a bit of skill from the big man, a grubber, that gave Watney Zalesniak no option. And now he lashes out. Mate, walk away. You're involved in everything. What's everybody. happened to the Warriors? Can you be going? Walk away. Play on poor ball control. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Fellas. And inside their own half. And there's a couple of left thrown by Kane Evans. Guess who they were aimed at? Well, have a go, have a go. Will Chambers is right in front of me. We know what Will Chambers does. He plays with his heart on his sleeve. We'll just listen to the ref here. Go to the bin, mate. Off you go. Go on. Bungie up! He could be hurt. He could be hurt. Rugged treatment on Will Chambers. Kane Evans involved in the tackle. Primarily, it was you and Aitken. Head slam. And Kane Evans goes on report for a head slam. In the bin again, mate. So his second stint in the bin. The team that wins has the last laugh, don't they? Will was a bit smarter than us, you know. Stay nice and calm for me, mate. Can you do me a favour? I know it's hard, but with no crowds, everything that he's saying gets picked up. And he could find himself in hot water, mate, OK? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sage, advice there from referee Matt Checkin. There are no crowds. Everything that is being said is being picked up on the microphones. And here we are talking about the art of the psychological warfare. That was won by Will Chambers. Kane Evans was sent to the sin bin twice. Matt Lodge will miss the next fortnight. Dallin Wittes in Tenita Zalesniak is up on contrary conduct charges. Mm. Will might have won that war, but overall, do you think he went too far? And, Hoops, what was said? What sparked all this? All this outrage and reaction... Those three men cited by the match review committee, all on one man, Will Chambers, what did he do? Well, Sean O'Sullivan, the Warriors halfback's sister, is married to Matt Lodge. So he went after Sean O'Sullivan from very early in the piece. It got personal, it got cutting. Uh, you'd need a lot of asterisks and beeps to explain it on television right here and right now. And then further to that, a similar path with Dallin Matuni Zalesniak, Kane Evans again, uh, cutting really cutting and, and very, very close to the bone. There's a really simple fix for this. It's really, really simple. So, as I said earlier, in the old days, Kane Evans would punch portholes in Will Chambers, right? Yeah. If they got hold of each other. I don't He's, know. I think Will would go Will right. goes OK. Yeah. Trust me, Kane goes all right. So, but the problem is, the way the game is now, with one puncher off, which we saw on the weekend, mm. players are unwilling to do that. So, there's no consequence for what you say now. So the chirpy guys have got the advantage over the physical guys. In the old days, it was yeah. a trade-off. The, the NRL needs to just bring in a rule, an unsportsmanlike conduct rule, where what you said has gone beyond the realms of what's acceptable, and you're off as well. That's as simple as that. Mm. They, have a, they have a similar rule in the, in the NFL in America, where by unsportsmanlike conduct, what you did was just not in the spirit of the game, Get off. Now, if, if, if we're going to go down this route whereby you are no longer to, able to get physical retribution for what a guy has <coughs> said to you, and if you're not as clever with the, with the lip as he is, yeah. and he can go at you, and Will Chambers is the heavyweight champion in the NRL at the moment, it's very hard to take him on and finish even square. So he has an advantage every time he finds someone. We saw that on the weekend. It's, it's a simple fix. Unsportsmanlike conduct, mate, you're going as well. Has it upset the Sharks? This I, is I the think it has, Ronnie. In really interesting. For a footballer had so much to say on the field the last two weeks, uh, last two games, I texted Will Chambers this morning to see if he'd do an interview, and he's not talking. He said he's going good, but he's just not going to do any media while this is such a big issue. There's a story, James, I noticed you had a line in your blog today about Andrew Fafita exchanging words with Chambers at full time in the sheds after the game. Now, I've chased that up and I don't know how heavy their exchange was. I do know, though, there is an issue between Fafita and Chambers that dates back 10 weeks when Chambers first arrived from Storm or from Rugby Union. 
He sat down with the Cronulla players in a team meeting. He said, this is what we used to do with Storm, taught him a few tricks, professionalism, all that sort of thing. But he pointed out for Fita at that meeting and he said, what you did, whatever that incident was, no, nah, it can't happen. That's not the way you do it. Now, for Fita walked out of that meeting really, really angry. I think he's been waiting for a get square for Chambers to trip up and make a mistake. And I think you're right. I think there was drama in the sheds after the game, but Cronulla are still in contention for the finals. They're putting a lid on it. Well, well that's the further layer of complexity... Sorry? Well, they've just got to have it out, Buzz. Like, mm. yeah, Will Chambers has come from a culture at Melbourne which is famous for its brutal honesty. And it's, mm. it's assessment after game. Stand up if you thought you played well. Half the team would stand up. The other half would it stay sitting down. And the question would be... You guys sitting down, who's standing up that should be sitting down? Yeah, the other thing Vice that really... Versa. The other thing that really rolled for Fita, for Fita is really, really tight with Matt Lodge. They did a lot of growing up bloke. together. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons it's flared up again in the sheds. The, the interesting thing is the coach is bagging Chambers too. Well, this is the thing. So Will Chambers has put for Fita on show... And we now know he came out of the Melbourne Storm where he would have had Bellamy to tell him to pull the head in. They would have had that strong leadership group to say, mate, we can't afford you to be a liability out there. But now he's at the Sharks. They've got the caretaker coach who's already said he's not a fan mm. of it. And they have no clear leadership group. Their captain's injured. So there's actually no one out there to say mm. to Will, well, mate, can you just stop? Well, I think Will's shows actually trying to take some leadership role and trying to get the emotional energy up in his team. Like, yeah, but Cronulla to your point about the Melbourne dull. Storm, we never saw... Will Chambers go troppo the way that he has over the course of the last couple of weeks when he was at the Storm. He never went after sides like this where it ended up being headline news day hang after on, day after hang day. On. Yes, the exchange with Gal, that's one example. It right? was with Cronulla. He took on Cronulla when they played Cronulla. Yeah, that's one Melbourne. example Maybe right, from, his, from his entire career with the Storm. He's only been at Cronulla a very short period of time and already he's fizzing over the edge. So I'm with Vaughan. I think that there is a leadership chasm there at the moment. They've got a yes. caretaker coach. So Their captain was Aaron Woods. He wasn't on the field when all of this started That sort of unfold. stuff. Like, he, he got into Dylan Walker, but he, he also backed it up physically. Like, I'm not going to sit there and beat up on Will Chambers here. It, it, he's, he's, not, he's trying to get a, a reaction out of his teammates. Which he got. It's because, not just he's just been a mug yeah. trying to just shout off and be lippy at blokes. He's backing it up by physically putting himself in the contest as well, mm. OK? But where, where, where the discrepancy and the imbalance is is the fact that, as I said, Kane Evans had had no avenue to seek a square up. So will there, is there any thought from within the Warriors that they might make an official complaint? I think they've discussed it. I'm sure they it's have discussed it. It's whether the complaint were... comes in under the terms of the... Uh, if it the... becomes a slur. Well, yeah, and be the whole, you know... I mean, well, it wouldn't correct, be the first time. The this, NRL have acted on, you know, on-field language and got good on them with all racial abuse. And this is obviously something different. It's very personal. I will say this. Will Chambers is 33 years of age. He wants to play again next year. This is not Craig Fitzgibbon's style, this sort of language on a footy field. He doesn't like it. He doesn't coach it. From what they're telling at Cronulla, it is not helping Chambers get a contract next year, and I think he'll finish up in a month's time. So he'll be part of the Fitzgibbon clean-out? Yeah. Well, don't, you don't yeah, think yeah, Fitzgibbon will just give him a phone call and that'll be it? Like, he's got the discipline to not do it. Well, has he? I think he he's has. He's been doing it for a long time, mate. He's been doing it for a long time. And he's one of those brain explosion players, Kenny, and they just can't control themselves. Like, that look to me, oh, I don't know can't what was control. said. He took two left hands off Kane Evans and had the discipline to not throw one back. Actually stepped back and laughed as in I've got you. So he, he's got self-control. There's no doubt he's got self-control.